We often imagine Victorian London as the height of class and the pinnacle of polite society. But the truth is, there was something undeniable wafting through even the fanciest neighborhoods in the summer of 1858. The city stank. For decades, a steady stream of raw sewage seeped from the old sewers directly into the River Thames, which runs right through the city of London. As you might imagine, this was not good. It basically turned the river into a massive, noxious, open sewer with pale brown water and all sorts of unspeakable things floating in it, including lots and lots of human poop. Newfangled, flushable toilets made the problem even worse. Combine that with a colossal increase in the city's population, and suddenly London's icky issue was becoming too much to bear. That's when the summer of 1858 hit, and the putrid problem reached a tipping point. That summer, a huge heat wave descended on the city, scorching it relentlessly for two full months. The sweltering heat caused all the waste in the river to ferment, which made all that sludge, sewage, and other sickening stuff smell even worse. London Press called it the Great Stink, and wrote article after article describing in disgusting detail just how smelly the situation was. And it wasn't just the odor that had people in a tizzy. Most of them firmly believed the smelly air was deadly. You see, in those days, most people still believed that all diseases were spread from person to person by bad air. Today, we know they spread through germs, can be passed by touch, through the air, or in water or food, depending on the disease. London had already dealt with a series of cholera outbreaks in recent years. So all that rotten air had Londoners scared stiff that the great stink meant a great plague was looming. But one doctor wasn't so convinced. His name was John Snow, and he managed to prove that cholera was passed from person to person through the contaminated water supply rather than the air. Apparently, he knew something. Sadly, no one really listened to him, and almost everyone continued to fear they would catch cholera from the bad air wafting off the river. Eventually, the smell got so bad and the people of London were in such a frenzy that Parliament simply had to step in and, well, do their job. They decided to build a new and improved state-of-the-art sewer system, STAT. The new system was 82 miles long and moved waste farther east, away from the river and into the ocean, which apparently is somehow better? Ugh. Either way, the brand new system caused the great stink of London to go away for good, and the river finally became safe enough to drink again. So in the end, London's terrible, horrible, super stinky, very hot summer might have been dreadful for everyone who smelled the great stink, but it led to a healthier city, half-decent drinking water, and most importantly, a river that wasn't full of poop. Today, all those efforts to sanitize the River Thames have worked wonders. The river that used to be an open sewer is now considered one of the cleanest rivers in the world. Talk about a glow up!